Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving if you're having an option that says encrypt contents to secure data is grayed out when you're modifying the advanced attributes for a shortcut or file. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and search for regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, check it back with registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select the file tab and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now that that is done, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for current control set, so double click on that. Should be a control folder in here, double click on it. And locate the file system folder right here. If you need to pause and take note of our file path, you can see it up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash indicates a different subfolder we have gone under to get to this point. Now on the right side, you want to locate something that says NTFS disable encryption right here. Double click on it. You want to make sure the value data is set to zero. So if there's any value in here that's not zero, delete it, type the number zero, select OK. And then once that is done, you want to go ahead and close out of here. And you will need to restart your computer. And now if you were to open up the search menu and type in services, best match, or come back with services, go ahead and open that up. And you locate the encrypting file system service. Double click on it. You should have the option to go ahead and set it to automatic as well as start the service. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.